I don't know why I've been procrastinating against this next little how-to project, but I wanted to show it to you. So I got all my stuff out here. My light is out here. I've got the camera all set up. So stick around. You may have never used this product before, but you're going to be surprised at how well it does. Well, here's my next project. I have to repaint this door system with all these little slats in here. It's going to be a nightmare. But before I do that, I've got to patch this door frame. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Get set up here. Now see right below that, where that handle is. See there? Look at that. It looks as though there used to be something notched out right there and maybe there was like a pocket door little handle right there that they notched into there and then they somebody went ahead and filled that in they tried to paint it and they didn't do too good on it did they and so I've got to fix that somehow and then see where this little handle pull is there used to be it used to be up here but it was up too high it was hard to pull this door closed so I've got to patch that and you see it was screwed in so so tight that it actually pushed right into the paint and that's pushed right down in there so I've got to fill all that up too and there's a couple other things I have to do on this door system and I was thinking okay what kind of spackle stuff could I use I don't want to really just use spackle that you put on the wall and um, you know they have they have some putty some 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 uh, raw type putty that you can get wood dough you can get at the store but I'm not going to use any of that this is what I'm going to use and I'll bet you you've never seen this before kaboom Durham's rock hard water putty water putty and see this little container here this is a pound 16 ounces and this whole thing and it's dry and it costs like two dollars at the hardware store and that's what I'm gonna use you know why they call it rock hard because after you put it on there you mix it up with water and after you put it on there it dries hard as a rock let me tell you and you can kinda of mold it a little bit as it's drying and you can sand it you can paint over it, you can drill and put screws into it, you can mold it, and all kinds of stuff. So that's what I thought I would use. Because, see, I'm going to have to probably put a couple different coats on here. And it's actually like that on the side, too. It's kind of nasty looking. But I have confidence that I can do it. See the side of the door there too? Look at that. When I get done, that's going to be all nice and smooth. So, I've got I've to make sure I don't have any high spots on here. And then I'm going to mix that water putty up and put it in there. Now I thought this one can was going to be enough. And it was only, like I said, it was only $2 at the store. Rock hard water putty. Durham's. But I found another place that I've got a patch too. Let me show you that right now. I'm glad I had that Durham's Rock Hard water putty here because this is the front door and this is the back side of the front door, you know, the interior side. And I'm not a professional painter by any means, but I'm going to make this door look way better than it is now. They used to have a door closer installed up here and then they unscrewed it and tried to patch that and everything it was high so I've already scraped that down but I'm going to fill the, the wood dough the water putty in there and there's a couple other areas right there I'm going to do something right there the paint started flaking off there and so I'm going to fill that up if I don't then it's not going to be smooth when I get ready to paint it but see down here at the bottom all along this bottom 
I'm going to end up putting that wood putty, that water putty. And let me show you why, okay? See here? Look, I'm going to fill that up. And the threshold here has a little gasket on it. You know, so you might say, why don't you just put a weather stripping uh, door shoe on there and cover all that stuff up? Well, I could do that, I guess, but the threshold there has a rubber gasket on there too. Now see, I'm going to fill all that up. Now look look at this right here. It goes up there. It's high. It's been notched. And look, the door had been damaged there and somebody even tried to patch it. And it's way up high there too. So I'm going to try to fill all that up there because I felt underneath there and the wood is stared still it's still down in there. So I've got to fill a little bit of that up. So I'm going to have to end up taking the door down. And see, I can just pack that full of that water putty. And then I can kind of fashion it and do whatever I need to do. Try to make this smooth here. But I have to take the door down. And I'm hoping I've got enough water putty for that. Okay. Now, I should have got the bigger container of water putty. They have them at like a two pound container for like four bucks. Well, I'm always doing, I'm always mobile on the fly, so I got the small container because I thought I was only going to have to do a few odds and end patches before I did some painting in here because I'm going to repaint these doors and frames. I've got a couple other doors here. Here's a door here, a frame that I'm going to have to paint. Here's another one here, another one over here. Okay, so I've already kind of looked at those. And I might, if I have to put some of that water putty on any of these, in any little spots, I can. And so, I'm all ready. You know what? I'm wondering what I should do first. I might have to do this one first so I can pack it. So as that one's drying, then I can be going over there and working on that one. Because that one's not as thick. So I can put a coat on there as this other one's drying. Yeah, that's what I'll do.